Okay, I'm back, and it's time to um, make this eye blink. So what I'm going to do is I need to go into symbol editing mode, because right now I can't edit the symbol. It's, it's movie clip. You can see it's got a blue box. When I click and select it, I can drag it around. I can also drag it out from the library. If I select it in the library, click and drag. You see I can drag out more than one, press the delete key, delete it. So if I want to edit it, I need to double click on it, or I need to go over here and right click and go to edit. But I'm just going to double click on it right here so I can edit it. Alright, so now I'm inside the movie clip. Notice the breadcrumbs here. I'm not in scene one, I'm in the movie clip MCI, and now I can edit it. I can change the color and whatnot. But what I'm going to do is I need to add more keyframes and um, change my animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go over here and on the next frame right here, notice I have one keyframe right here. It's got a little circle and there it is when I click on it I see it. I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to right click on it and go insert keyframe and now my movie has two keyframes. So now I'm working on my second keyframe. And what I'm going to do is I'll get my eraser tool. I'm just trying to do this the easiest way. And I'm going to make the eye blink. So I know that the eye needs to start closing. So I'm just going to close that off like that. All right. And then I'll get my paintbrush. I just use the eraser tool to erase the eyelid. And then I'll just make it so that the eye looks like it's been closed part way. Okay, so now my movie has two keyframes and I can go back from frame to frame by grabbing this red scrubber and scrubbing. You can see the eye closing there from keyframe one. I can just drag back and forth the red piece, right? Or I can um, hit enter to play my movie. Enter. Okay, and or what I can do is I can use the comma and the period on the keyboard to go back and forth between frames. Okay, so there you go. I have a two frame movie. And then what I need to do is do another keyframe. So what I'm going to do is go to frame three, which is the next frame. See how it highlights? These are the frames right here. Uh, go to the next frame and I'm going to right click, insert keyframe, not insert frame, insert keyframe. And for the third frame, I need to do the same thing. So what I'm going to do is get my eraser tool and I'm going to erase the upper eyelid and I'm pretty much going to erase where I think I need to be. And once again, this is not going to be exact, but I'm thinking that that's going to look good just like that. Okay. And now I can use the comma and the period on the keyboard to see what's happening here. Okay. Now, um, you can see that my eye is closing here. Now, I'm going to teach you one really great tool that you're going to like. If you like this, this is called keyframing or frame by frame animation, where you draw a different thing on each frame and it becomes an animation. Press enter and you'll see your animation play. Well, in um, traditional animation, the artists use a light table and they do drawings and then they shine the light under the paper and they can see the previous drawing. Here we have that capability too with this button called the onion skin button, which is right here. Uh, you'll see here if you go right there and click on this button, you can see your other frames. I'm on frame three, but I can see frame two and frame one by indication of this these tools here. You can see that you can drag those over. I can drag this over and now I can only see frame two. But if I do that, I can see frame one also. And I can see that my eye is ends sort of right here. So now I could take my eraser tool. Okay, there's my eraser, there it is. And I can do that so that I don't change the, to kind of line up where the eye um, begins and ends. Okay, and if I also wanted to do this and, and be a little more precise, I could go to uh, view and go to rulers and that opens up my rulers and then I can get my, I can go right in this ruler and drag out a guide that shows that that'll be the corner of my eye and another guide, let's see here, another guide for the other corner of the eye so that I know kind of where the eye uh, starts and stops. Okay, and uh, if I wanted to I'd put another guide and say the eye, the bottom of the eye should be right about there. Okay, so that's pretty good. So I've got some guides now and whatnot. 
I'll turn off the onion skin button and I'll make another keyframe. And this time I'll erase. I'm going to erase the whole thing now. Get my paintbrush. Okay. And just draw a line. And so now you'll see my eye closes. All right. And maybe do one more. Insert another keyframe. Erase it. Okay. My paintbrush. And then this time, actually close the eye curving the line the other way. So now you'll see the eye closes. If I press enter on the keyboard, there's my animation playing. Now if I want to open the eye back up, which I'm going to want to do, then I need to reverse the frames. So this is another really, really great part. What I can do is, is I can click on this keyframe, right click on it. I can copy the frame, left click on copy frame, and then go to the next frame, right click, and paste frame. So I'm pasting the frames that I want in reverse. Right click here, copy frame, over here, and paste frame. And so now it closes, and then it begins to open. So that was that one. So I need this one. Right click, copy frame, go to the next frame and paste frame. Now if you make a mistake on your frame, sometimes the best thing to do is just do edit undo control Z. Copy frame, left click on copy frame, click here, right click, and then left click on paste frame. So now my animation is complete. You see it closes and opens. There's a blink, right? So now I have my blinking character. Press enter on the keyboard to play it.